All right, this is what we got going on. We got a sale that's going on from now until Sunday for the MAN program, which teach you so much and you want to get in now and you want to get the price now for just the future. Because in the future, I'm going to add something very spicy and tangy to this offering. So you want to go ahead and get in now. So let's get into this video. I went to Taco Bell and they were like, please use the kiosk. There was no one. They weren't even set up. They didn't even have cash registers at the counter. Only place that you can place your order was at this kiosk. McDonald's also has a kiosk, but you also have the option of using the counter if you want to. But most people go to the kiosk. They have these two kiosks. And automation, hands down, is going to be one of the biggest job killers we've ever seen. Automation just got a dose of steroids. This is something like I used to pay like a thousand bucks a month for my thumbnails because I have multiple channels. And now I am paying $30 a month because I use Mid Journey. I want you to think I was paying $12,000 a year. And that cost has been reduced to $360 dollars a year and it gets deeper than that I have some more advanced projects where uh, I spent some money and if I had to hire someone to do what I had done I would have been looking at 10 10 15 thousand um, I was able to use uh, automation cost me $20 a month. So what you're going to see as we go down this path is the eradication, the killer of jobs. Now, there are many people in the comments talking about once these cars start self-driving, and I think we're about 15, 20 years from that, honestly, because Every time they do these automated tests without a real driver, something bad happens. So, but we're going to have automation all over the place. Um, essentially, this is the new society that we're going to be living in, a society with high levels of automation. Let's kind of go back to the gig economy. I want you to think about this. Automation. You can sign up for Uber. You can sign up for Lyft. You can sign up for DoorDash. You can sign up for Instacart. And you never have to talk to anyone. Just go in there, pull out your phone, hit the app, wait whatever, however long it takes. Then boom, you're making money. Automation. Automation. And one of the things that you know, you, you have a choice here, and this is a very serious choice. Either you're going to be the deployer of automation, like me, I am using automation to make money, or you're going to be roadkill by automation. Uh, many months ago, I was talking about using MidJourney, ChatGPT. They have gotten better since I've been using them. And there are more automation techs out there. And this is one of the things that I find to be hilarious. There's a number of YouTube channels talking about using automation to make fast money. I feel that these channels are miscategorizing automation because automation used in conjunction with a real business can be a lifesaver. It can be a godsend. But to go out you're just some person who's never had a business, never had an LLC, never set up a holding company, don't have no business credit. And you're just going to be a regular person from your bedroom and you're going to go to the Internet. You're going to use MidJourney to create this art 
and you're going to slap it on Etsy and you're going to make all this money. I don't believe it. I don't think it's going to happen. And uh, one of the things that we're beginning to see is this isn't happening. The number of YouTube creators was like, yeah, I made a hundred and fifty dollars. I made 200 bucks on Etsy using automation. Now, a lot of them, their stores are shutting down because there's so many people trying to do this. <laughs> Here's the thing. And this is big. You want to be part of the crew that is using and deploying automation. Now, give you an example. You can use automation to write a book, which is something that I kind of go back and forth between because I have a voice, I have a writing style, and if I use automation, that style gets lost. So I'm probably going to write my own books. But let me give you a, a, a suppose. Let's say I had my own website, had a YouTube channel, and I was getting my own crowd. I can use automation to create books that I can sell on my website. Now, putting them on Amazon, this is how I see it. If you get to the point where you're selling these books and there's popular demand, then you, I think you can put them on Amazon. But if you just use AI to write the books, I think you're going to run into some problems in the future with Amazon. But essentially, me personally, to go from paying a thousand dollars a month to now paying three hundred and sixty dollars a year for thumbnail creation services, this is a game changer. And it's just going to get better and better and deeper and deeper. Now, let's talk about YouTube automation. This is where I feel that if you're a talented person, you know how to do YouTube, you know how to make YouTube videos, using automation can enhance those skills. But if you're just a regular person who's never started a YouTube channel and you're going to go through someone's course, um, I don't think that's going to work, in my opinion. I just don't think that's going to work because YouTube AdSense is the lowest amount of revenue that I make in my revenue chain. And YouTube AdSense is the most unpredictable, it's the craziest amount of revenue. But what I do understand, and I will say, in the future, there will be automation that will be able to create a very lucrative YouTube channel in the future. I don't think we're there yet. I think there will be automation to create a really lucrative uh, Instagram account. But right now, what's missing? And when I mean the future, let's talk about now. If you're already competent at YouTube, you already know how to do YouTube, YouTube aut uh, automation can help you build something very, 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 very powerful. But if you're just a rank regular person that has never done anything and never built anything, uh, I think it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a big, big struggle. But as we move forward, this is going to be the thing that's going to make a lot of people unemployed. If you're doing a normal, simple, regular, easy job, look to the future for you to be struggling with that job. Look for the future for you to be having massive issues in losing these jobs. The reason that DoorDash, Lyft, Instacart work because they need manual labor. We don't have robots that can actually get in the car, drive to the store, do the shopping and deliver it. That's 20, 30 years away, in my opinion. That's 20, 30 years away. So those jobs will be available. But as I put up in the previous video, those are dead end jobs. There's no graduation levels. And what we're going to find out if you're a person and this is something that's really, really important. You cannot be a normal, regular person. Uh, I'm going to do a video in the future. Be, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification where we're going to be talking about the future choices that you will have to make because 
right now we're moving to a really technical world and you know like normally i would just upgrade my um my iphone but i didn't see enough differences because you know iphones have become so powerful that i'll probably wait to next year and recently i just got rid of a macbook pro a brand new one i got rid of my all my apple watches and stuff because i feel the the things that are going to come out next year not this year but next year are going to be more awesome and i'll probably go ahead and get those but what we're going to see what we're going to have is you've got to be part of that group of people who's very tech savvy tech savvy because if you're just a regular person with regular skills going back to the tiktok woman where i get up at 4 30 in the morning i let my dog out and i go to my work and she's struggling and one of the things that you're going to find out especially in healthcare, is anything that can be automated will be automated and that person may not have a job in the future and one of the things is you're going to have to get as much education as you can. You're going to have to work in certain lanes because right now we're at a strange point in society. Right now we have a lot of major retailers shutting stores due to theft. People are literally walking into these stores and taking out whatever they want and the stores cannot handle this amount of loss they just can't so they're going to shut these stores down now this is what i'm talking about and this is going to be a future video i'm talking about the two americas but in my opinion and i'm going to speak from my experience um if you educate yourself if you do the things because right now 15 years in the future, there's so many things that I can do that I couldn't do in 2009, 2010, 2011. I can do them now. You've got to be on this consistent path of education, because if you're not educating yourself, if you're not pushing yourself, if you're not growing yourself, once again, you're going to be a pattern for roadkill. You're just going to be ran over by automation, because one of the things that's happening is People are looking for a simple, easy to do job with a guaranteed high wage. And right now in Congress, they're talking about raising the minimum wage to, I believe, 11 bucks or something per hour, which that's just going to really bring in automation. Because there are some companies that they can't pay 11 bucks an hour and stay in business. They just can't. So. What we're going to have is an increase in automation that I don't think we've ever seen. Like the, the kiosk in Taco Bell, the kiosk in McDonald's. That's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. And in the next five years, we're going to see a massive move to automation. You're going to go places. And I actually see this coming. You're going to go into a restaurant. And instead of sitting down, you're going to get into this counter, this line, and you're going to go to this kiosk and you're going to do, 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 press what you want, pay at the kiosk, get in line and your food's going to come sliding out. That's going to be a future restaurant and they're going to have minimum staff. They're not going to have servers. They're not going to have waitresses. Only thing they're going to have are cooks cooks and people to put the food out on, on the tray. That's, that's, that's coming. That's really, really coming. And then, you know, once again, 15, 20 years in the future, when we have true self-driving cars, true self-driving cars, that's going to bring in another level of automation. When we get to the point, I want you to think in the future, 20 years in the future, you're going to pull out your phone. You're going to speak to your phone because this, this is, once again, uh, more automation. You're going to speak to your phone. It's like, hey, I want an Uber and an automated car is going to show up at your house. You're going to hop in it and go to the airport. And when you get to the airport, 
right at the desk at the airport, as soon as you walk in, you're going to scan your ticket and there's going to be this conveyor belt that's going to take you through security and all this other stuff. The airport, all this stuff is going to be massively, massively different. And, you know, kind of going back to my two Americas, you're going to be in the clean America, the nice neighborhood. And today, I saw something I thought was extremely crazy. There was a house that's for rent for $4,800, right? $60,000 a year. In a crowded neighborhood, supposedly brand new construction, very, very close to the hood, extremely close to the hood. And you need to make $144,000 a year to live in this house. Let me explain something to you. My last house, which was 5,000 square feet on two acres, I was paying 3,500 bucks a month for that. And one of the things that you're going to find, if you want to live somewhere nice, a nice neighborhood, you're going to have to be making some money. And I don't think you, you know, if you're doing the gig economy work, because that was the last video, um, you could get to some place decent. But to get into the really, really nice areas, you're going to need to be at 250000 minimum to be able to afford to live in the really, really nice areas. That's where you're going to have to be. Because if you're not making that kind of money, it's going to be really, really hard for you to live in, in nicer areas. So with automation getting a dose of steroids, you could see joblessness, intended joblessness, people who don't have jobs, who would be out here struggling to make a living, who would be out here really doing these things to make a living. So one of the things that you have to understand is in this new economy, you got to be technologically advanced or you're just going to get ran over. All right. So there's some I'm doing this week. It's phase two. We got some sales going on, teaching you things you need to do. You need to get in on this sale for the future because the things that are coming for the future will be mind blowing. So this link will be below. And once again, you need to get into this sale. Um, we got a lot going on. We're building a lot. We're doing a lot. And these things are going to get really, really intriguing and interesting for the people who are want to become more technologically advanced for the folks. So links below. Go ahead and get into it now. Because if you wait, you're going to regret that you missed out.